Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice the radio, and today I am here with genuinely awesome, brilliant, wonderful, fantastic, awesome news, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely brilliant, awesome, wonderful news. Because you see, for a while now, there has been one card which is, well, I'll be honest with you, right? It's been ruining my collection just a little bit. Because Pikachu on the ball has been basically an unobtainable card. Well, good news, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't gonna remain that way. And this is awesome. This is brilliant news for everybody except the people who paid well over the odds over the past few months, which, if that's you, I'm sorry, but that was always a risk of doing it. Let me explain. So, Pokemon basically entered into an agreement with the Football Association in the UK. Not even in the UK, that's a lie. In England, and that's a very important distinction, to produce this run of promos. And it's rather nice. But it's an England promotion. You know, Pikachu on the ball is wearing the England football kit. And I mean, we could keep doing this, but they're all wearing England football kits. Shout out especially to the Sobble on the ball with the yellow goalkeeper jersey. That's kind of awesome. Although I should say, you guys in the USA jersey, we don't. We say football kit or football shirt. We don't use jersey to refer to these. It's just not what us Brits say. So that was kind of cool. And you won't find them in Scotland and you won't find them in Wales. You will only find them in England because it is very much an English promotion. And this was run through game and it was a little bit awkward, right? Because the whole damn panic thing happened. So it actually took a while to get all of these cards out there. It wasn't just like some quick thing because they started doing these and then there was like a sort of like a nine month gap or something at one point some ridiculous gap but eventually we got all of the first four cards we got eevee on the ball Krooky on the ball sobble on the ball and score bunny on the ball and none of these have ended up being particularly expensive cards they've all ended up being pretty reasonable i mean if we take eevee on the ball which you would imagine after pikachu is going to be by some distance the most popular of them you can go onto ebay right now and pick it up for like 20 quid and okay fine it was a card that was free when you spent 15 pounds on pokemon tcg stuff but still come on it's not that expensive. It's really not that bad. Not for a promo that was given out many months ago. The only really awkward one, and this this still annoys me, I was able to get a bunch of the other ones because I've got friends I owe favours to at this stage. And I wasn't able to get a bunch of Sobble on the ball because we were in the middle of the big Pokemon TCG shortage at the time. And they're literally, you know, I, I would go into some game stores, not my local, my local one's awesome. But some of them, and they would literally tell me, you can only get this promo if you buy Pokemon TCG stuff. We're out of Pokemon TCG stuff. And, and they didn't apparently appear to be able to put two and two together, which was kind of awkward. So these have all ended up being cards, which were frankly easy enough to get and nice enough to get. And life was good. Except Pikachu. And what really annoyed me is that Pikachu is number one out of five. Why could they not have done a four card set and Pikachu was just a separate promo? Because I'm sorry, I'm a big collecting nerd. If if they're numbered 1 to 5, I want 1 to 5. If the others are numbered 1 to 4 and Pikachu's different, I can ignore Pikachu. But they didn't. They numbered it 1 to 5. The thing was, the Pikachu was never meant for you or I. The whole point was that there were there's these futsal clubs over in the UK. These are basically, it, it's kind of like football, but with a smaller ball and it's to build skills and things of that nature. And what they would do, the Pokemon company, they would send kits out to a bunch of these futsal clubs that would include a whole bunch of stuff, including a futsal that looked like a Pokeball, which is awesome, and a bunch of Pikachu on the ball promos. And I made no secret of the fact that I was very frustrated because what started happening as these were being sent out, what started happening was a bunch of people 
who clearly were not into Pokemon cards, would join Pokemon TCG selling pages over on Facebook. And then immediately the only thing they were selling was like 20 or 30 Pikachu on the ball. So rather than actually doing what they were supposed to be doing, and that is giving them out to the kids at the club, they were just hoarding them and selling them on. And I saw people selling them all day long for over 100 quid. And it was super annoying. And I didn't like it because that's not what you're supposed to do. I mean, the first Pikachu on the ball was listed for a thousand pounds, which I told you at the time was dumb. But then again, if we go and look at November last year, so we're talking six months ago, there's a reproduction metal card, don't worry about that. And there's two offers, one for three and a half grand and one for three and a half grand. And there were a bunch of people watching, I do sincerely hope that nobody actually bought those cards. But six months ago, November last year, that's what they were being sold for. Now, the good news is the price did get a little bit less dumb. Not, not entirely less dumb, but a little bit less dumb. I mean, on eBay, you can't go all the way back to the beginning, unfortunately. You can only go so far back. But if we go back as far as we're actually allowed to do, we can go back to February of this year. And in February of this year, they were being sold for about 170 quid. And these aren't best offer accepted or anything like that. These are actually sold what people are actually paying. 170 pounds and 175 pounds. And I've always had a bit of a problem with this purely because these are cars that were supposed to be given out to kids at the local futsal club. And I've never really believed that these were all just extras that didn't need to be given out. And honestly, if they were extras that were supposed to be given out, why should they not have been given to the kids at the club? To give to their siblings or their mates or things along those lines. And to be clear, when they're sold on Facebook, most of the time you can click on the profile and the person is, you know, listing on their fake public profile that they've actually, you know, a member of this futsal club. They've not even tried to hide it. Well, as we look today, the prices are more reasonable, although, let's face it, still way too high, about 75 quid. The Mafree most recent sold are 77, 77, and 72. So you're talking around about 75 quid as a card. Well, I hope you guys listening didn't pay that. I sincerely hope you didn't pay the 170 in February, and I really hope you didn't pay the three and a half grand six months ago, because today Game have gone and announced that they're just going to be available. The fifth and final Pokemon Futsal card to be revealed is Pikachu. Previously only available to participants of the Pokemon Futsal program, Game will now have this to add to your collection from Winter 2022. These rare cards will only be available with select Pokemon trading card game bundles online and a 15 minimum pound spend in stores. And that's what they've done all the way along. So there'll be certain bundles on the website where you can buy, you know, a free pack blister and a booster pack which puts it over 15 quid and you get one of these free or you buy an elite trainer box and you get one of these free whatever there's, there's a bunch of those made on the website and then there will be a bunch given to stores and you can just wander in spend 15 quid on pokemon tcg stuff and get yourself the promo and i love this so much because i didn't buy pikachu on the ball and trust me i wanted to i really really wanted to but i didn't and the reason that i didn't was partly because spending 100 quid on a single card is something reserved for only the very best of cards, and partly because it just seemed wrong. These cards should not have been being sold on eBay. And I know market forces, and people had them, and people sold them, and etc, etc. I'm not blaming the people that bought them, I'm blaming the people that sold them, who should clearly not have been selling them. But, you know, I can go back to March and show you that there was a run of free cards sold for 320 quid, 286 quid and 282 quid and those people that bought them could have just waited and then wandered into the store and spent 15 quid on product and got the card literally for free and for people like me that have waited and crossed their fingers because this has long been rumored we've, we've had rumors that this is going to happen for ages 
But for people like me that waited, I adore that this is happening. Shout out to the Pokemon Company International. Shout out to Game for making this a reality. Because now, not only are these going to be more widely available, but it also means we can buy them without buying them from people who should have given them to kids, but instead is trying to make money over on eBay. Also, spread the word, right? Tell everyone this is happening. Let's tank the price of this on eBay. And I deliberately took a screenshot as soon as this information was announced that they were sold for 75 quid. Nobody should be spending 75 quid on this card right now. That is ridiculous. It's going to be free with a £15 spend. And admittedly, that's in winter, so you're probably talking four to six months time it's not gonna be in the next couple of weeks you're talking four to six months time as a rough guess i don't know that but let's tank the price every time somebody tries to sell this card for a hundred pounds let's remind them it's going to be given away for free in game from winter let's turn this into a 20 pound card just like eevee on the ball and then when it releases in game let's turn it into a 10 pound card so all of our friends that cannot get to game can just go and pick these up on eBay for next to nothing. I am delighted. This is wonderful news. And let's be clear, right? If you are one of those people who is just an honest-to-goodness Pokemon TCG collector who really wanted this in your binder so paid over the odds, of course you have my sympathy. Like I say, I'm frustrated at the people who should have given them out to the kids at their club and instead went and sold them. And yes, that is a lot of people. But I get it. I'm a big Pokemon TCG nerd. I understand that some of you did not know if this was ever going to be made available and you just wanted it in your binder. Those people, obviously, you do have my sympathy. I know that it sucks. But I love the fact that not only is the price of this going to tank, not only is it going to be more widely available, but now anyone who goes to their local futsal club and tries to snag all of these to sell online, it's not really going to be worth it anymore. And that's wonderful. Spread the word, ladies and gentlemen. Tank that price. So yeah, I want to know what you think about all this in the comment section. Are you delighted these are being made more widely available? Or are you frustrated as a collector that you bought thinking this was never going to happen? And now you could have got it for a lot cheaper. Let me know in the comment section. Get us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would ya thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio